Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Breaking today, North Las Vegas police released video of the crash that killed nine in January. We do want to warn you, some may find this video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This video from a Republic Services Depot shows a Dodge Challenger speeding through an intersection. Police say 59-year-old Gary Robinson sped at over 100 miles per hour. Gary Dean Robinson, the suspected driver of a black Dodge Challenger, uh, was the only driver on the road traveling north on Commerce, and he's speeding through a red light. And as he's approaching the corner of Cheyenne and Commerce, you can see heavy traffic on Cheyenne, and he is just barreling right into that traffic. This is reportedly Nevada's deadliest crash in at least 30 years. A review journal investigation found Robinson had a clean record in Nevada, despite being cited for speeding at least five times. Now to an update on the hookah lounge shooting that left one dead and 13 others wounded. The shooting suspect appears in court saying he was also shot a total of six times. You can see at first he tries to hide his face from the cameras. You know I'm shot up too, right? I'm going to stop you right there. I can't address anything I'm else today. Six please, times please wait to talk to you. 44-year-old Lee Frank Wilson was arrested Tuesday in connection to Saturday's shooting at Manny's Glow Ultra Lounge and restaurant on Sahara Avenue. Police say an argument broke out during a private party. Today, the judge ordered Wilson to be held without bail due to his lengthy criminal history, which includes 82 arrests in Clark County. In Weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. The National Weather Service calls it Wind Safety Week. With the gusts picking up, they're urging you drivers out there to keep a firm grip on your steering wheel to prevent your car from swaying on the roadways. After another warm day in the 80s, the breezes have calmed. Temps are in the 70s set to dip into the 50s later. On Friday, a cold front moves in with more winds, possibly rain, and highs in the 60s. Come Saturday, even colder with highs only hitting the 50s more rain and gusts blowing over 20 miles per hour. On Sunday, a slight warm-up with the winds and precipitation dissipating. In Entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. Just how hot is BTS? The K-pop icon sold out all four of their Permission to Dance concerts next month at Allegiant Stadium. The BTS Global Fan Club, who calls themselves the ARMY, snatched up all those tickets. Their shows will be simulcast at the MGM Grand Garden. Plus, if you love a good comedy mystery dinner show and want to show support for Ukraine during this difficult time. Starting March 10th, the Marriage Can Be Murder show will donate a portion of proceeds to help Ukrainian refugees, pledging a $10,000 minimum donation. In Business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. It's almost game time in Henderson as the $84 million Dollar Loan Center Arena is almost complete. And today we're getting a tour. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer has more on what to expect. Renee? Jen, the project was completed in February and includes increasing traffic lanes and turn pockets, new traffic signals that include adaptive traffic signal technology, an unnamed restaurant, and that's just the outside. Today's tour inside crews at the 200,000 square foot arena recently laid the ice on which the Henderson Silver Knights will play with their team logo prominently displayed at the center. Design elements include the Dollar Loan Center feature aspects from T-Mobile Arena, a center club space overlooking the center ice and two triangular overhangs. It's all come together really, really well and we're very proud of it. You know, this building is not just about the, uh, the Henderson Silver Knights playing, playing hockey here or the Nighthawks, but most importantly, this facility will, will be used by the citizens of Henderson. The arena is standing off Green Valley and Paseo Verde Parkways. The first planned event is the Big West Conference Men and Women's Basketball Tournament in March with the first Silver Knights game planned for April 2nd. 
Sports brought to you by Station Casinos STN Sports. Download the app today. Cassie Soto here at the 2022 NFL Combine where we heard from Ohio State wide receiver Chris Olave, a projected first round pick who says he would not mind playing in Las Vegas. Uh, my oldest brother is a huge fan of the Raiders. So I love yeah, to go there. Uh, Las Vegas, is a, they moved to Las Vegas recently, and they have a, a great organization. And I love to go there and play for them. For more on the 2022 NFL Combine, head to VegasNation.com. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. With the NFL Draft taking place in Las Vegas in less than two months, Station Casino Sportsbook has posted odds on the first quarterback selected. Pittsburgh's Kenny Pickett is the minus 120 favorite, and Liberty's Malik Willis is the plus 110 second choice. North Carolina's Sam Howell is plus 450. Ole Miss's Matt Corral is 8 to 1. Cincinnati's Desmond Ritter is 10 to 1. UNR's Carson Strong is 40 to 1, and the field, comprised of all other quarterbacks, is 60 to 1. In health, a group is gathering signatures for a bid to change the abortion law. A PAC supported by Nevada Right to Life wants the legislature to consider requiring their parents be notified when a minor receives an abortion. They argue minors aren't allowed to buy a car or house and shouldn't be allowed to consent to an abortion on their own. Pro-choice advocates argue such laws disproportionately harm people of color. In Lifestyle, as Women's History Month kicks off, we'd like to introduce a woman who continues to teach about diversity. Rachel Anderson is a law professor at UNLV and the first black lawyer to serve as general counsel for the Nevada Attorney General's office. I say that if the world was a perfect place, I would be off doing mergers and acquisitions because I really love lawyering, but it's not a perfect place. And I find that addressing diversity issues creates a space for individuals and groups to achieve their full potential or more of their potential. To learn more, go to LVRJ.com. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.